Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be rating some very popular activewear brands between one and 10, one being the worst and 10 being the best. I'm very excited for this video just because leggings and activewear just makes me so happy. Even if I'm not working out and going to the gym, I will still be living in my gym clothes and I know it's the same for a lot of you guys out there. I'm gonna be going through Gymshark, Nike, Victoria Sport, Target, and Old Navy activewear. So it's definitely an interesting group. We have very affordable prices to more expensive prices and I'm gonna be telling you if any of these are worth your money. So let's get into it. So the first brand that I'm getting into is Victoria Sport. Just because when I got Victoria Sport, I was so excited and so happy to put it on and head to the gym. I was so excited. I got this set for Christmas and it was just the leggings with the matching sports bra. I love the color and I love the design. The problem came when I went to the gym to work out in them. So the leggings are definitely very cute. They have a cute crisscross design down the leg with some meshing underneath and definitely has a contour all around the legging so that it gives you a nice shape all around. However, once I really started getting into my workouts and started sweating a lot, that's where the problem came. You can see all of my sweat in these leggings. It was disgusting. <laughs> these leggings definitely are very stretchy and don't constrict you or anything like that, but it definitely will soak up all of your sweat and it will show and it was pretty disgusting especially in between your legs because you kind of look like you peed on yourself that's the first problem that i had with the victoria sport leggings the second problem that i had with these leggings was that they tend to ride down a lot if you're running or if you're on the stair stepper or anything like that they're gonna ride down. If you're squatting, they're gonna ride down. I'm assuming that's why they added this little black drawstring to it, but as tight as I've tied it, it definitely still will ride down a little bit and it just becomes uncomfortable because the drawstring is kind of just holding on for dear life because the rest of the legging is just coming down. Now, when it comes to the sports bra, it's a slightly different story. You're definitely gonna be seeing your sweat as well in the sports bra. However, it's a little bit more comfortable because the sports bra is more structured. It's more structured structured it's definitely a little bit more breathable because the sports bra has more little holes all around it and the design is just so pretty i love the crisscross in the front and the crisscross just comes all the way down the front and it has a nice design in the back it will definitely hold you in place whether you're running or you're working on your upper body it's definitely going to hold you in for dear life so the only thing that i don't like about the sports bra is the fact that you will definitely see your sweat and that's a problem with the whole so I am giving Victoria Sport a 6 out of 10. The designs for their active wear line are very cute but not practical and not comfortable when you're working out. The leggings ride down and you will see your sweat the entire time. Next, let's talk about Gymshark. You either love them or you hate them for your very own reasons. But I was definitely one of those people who had to buy something from Gymshark when they first became very popular. I saw them on influencers like Whitney Simmons and I absolutely loved her and I love the clothes on her so I went out and got some Gymshark as well. First let's get into their leggings because their leggings were and still are one of the most popular items on their line. These leggings are so stretchy and so soft. These are some of the softest workout leggings that I own. It literally will feel like you're not wearing anything. <laughs> These leggings have mesh pockets on the side and they also have a little mesh strip on the back of your leg so it definitely allows you to breathe a little bit more and it gives you the ability to hold your phone which is something that I definitely took advantage of before I got my Apple Watch. I just did not like putting my phone down at the gym. I love the fact that these leggings are super high waist and they do not ride down. These leggings do not have that problem. The way that these leggings were designed they actually give you a sort of a contour all around your booty and all around your hips and thighs. So the leggings are just absolutely amazing. The next thing that I ordered from Gymshark was actually this hoodie. I wanted a really really cute pink hoodie that I could wear for when I was warming up or if I'm just hanging out and just want a cute hoodie to throw on. So I bought this one. It's cropped. This hoodie is extremely thick. It has really soft fleece on the inside. So it is an incredible quality. I absolutely love it. It has some pockets on the side even though it's cropped which you don't always see with a cropped hoodie so that's 
fantastic and overall it's just a very great quality very well made hoodie and like i said i've definitely worn this to warm up on the treadmill and just get my body heated and moving and it definitely does the job very quickly so if you're looking to definitely work up a sweat throw on a gymshark hoodie and you will definitely be sweating right away so for all of the reasons that i just mentioned i'm going to be giving gymshark a 10 out of 10 rating when it comes to their active wear however when it comes to shopping on their site they will get an 8 out of 10 for me just because every time I'm on the website, everything that I want is always sold out. Whether it's completely sold out or just sold out in my size and it's the most annoying thing ever. But when it comes to the quality of their clothes, 10 out of 10. So next, I'm going to be talking about the ever so popular Nike. Nike is definitely a superpower when it comes to active wear. But... For me, they were the most problematic, and let me tell you why. So I'm gonna start off with the leggings, and I'm gonna be showing you two pairs of Nike leggings that I own and have gone to the gym with myself. The first is this black pair of leggings, and I'm pretty sure that I've seen so many people wearing these leggings to the gym or just to hang out outside. These are definitely not high-waisted. These are mid-rise, which can be uncomfortable, and I prefer leggings that are more on the higher side so that they don't ride down. So me, when I've been running or squatting or doing anything like that these have ridden down just a little bit not too much though because they have an elastic at the waistband but I learned my lesson the first few times that I tried to wear these on leg day and squatted these leggings on a squat proof level are like a zero these are terrible you will see all of your behind if you try to squat down with these as you can see the material is just super thin and super see-through and I feel like for the price these leggings should not have that issue they should at least be able to prevent your underwear from being seen I mean Nike leggings are pretty expensive I also paired these leggings with the matching sports bra and the sports bras I definitely don't have an issue with they hold you in place your boobs will definitely not be flopping around everywhere when you're in the middle of a workout they're very comfortable they're not structured like the Victoria Sport um, sports bra was but they will definitely hold you in place so the sports bras are amazing now the second pair of Nike leggings that I have are a little bit different so they also come mid-rise but they're in a gray color and the design is a little bit different they do also have the elastic at the waistband but they have a sort of mesh on the bottom half of your legs and that mesh just makes it really uncomfortable once you start sweating and moving around in it because it definitely gets very itchy so that's problem number one that I have with these leggings. The second problem is the fact that these are not squat proof either. Despite the fact that the material is thicker than the black leggings, these gray leggings still have the issue of showing your underwear and your butt will be seen. So that's a problem. I don't wear any of their leggings on leg day because it's just not going to be a pretty picture for myself. It just makes me very uncomfortable and I don't want people staring at me at the gym for the wrong reason. However, I also have a few pairs of shirts from Nike and those I will definitely recommend. Those get a perfect rating in my book. They are all very breathable. They are all very lightweight, very comfortable, loose fitting, moisture wicking, and they are very perfect for working out it's the leggings that I have a problem with and for those reasons I'm giving Nike a 6 out of 10 their tops and their sports bras are amazing their leggings are very problematic and will definitely make you very uncomfortable to wear to the gym and it's just a very sad thing because they're just so expensive and to be honest I have found the same sort of issues with Adidas and the fact that these brands are so expensive is just very disappointing that they can be better okay next I'm gonna be going over Target's very own activewear line I actually made a whole video about Target's activewear line and if you haven't seen that definitely check it out I'll have it in the card right up here now these as you can see I always have a struggle putting the leggings on just because these leggings will suck you in these are very soft they are high-waisted which is perfect they won't move around anywhere now the fact that they suck you in and hold you in place is amazing because they do not ride down when you're working out and even though they do hold you in very well they actually are really stretchy when you're working out and you have them on you can move around as much as you want and you'll be able to stretch very well 
The problem just is when you're trying to get them on. <laughs> now, are these leggings squat proof? Well, it depends on the underwear that you decide to wear that day. If you're wearing something a little bit darker and brighter, you probably will be able to see them, but if you're not, then you won't have that issue. They do have mesh in different places around your legs, so it definitely helps with giving your skin the ability to breathe as you work out. And I also got the matching sports bra with it. It's such a cute design. It definitely holds you in place while being stylish at the same time, but as you can see, you will be able to see your sweat so well. Not just that, but your sweat will stain. This is literally a sweat stain. I have washed this sports bra several times and the sweat just doesn't come out and that's a really nasty problem. Especially if you're the type of person who likes to work out in their sports bra, you will definitely be able to see your sweat. So when it comes to the sports bras, I'm not necessarily a fan. You can see some sweat with the leggings just not as much as the sports bra and I'm thinking it's because the material on the bra is just a little bit thinner and different than the leggings the leggings are definitely a lot thicker in quality so for all these reasons I'm gonna be rating Target's activewear line an 8 out of 10 they're cute they're stylish they are very stretchy and great to work out in but you will definitely be able to see your sweat and the last activewear line that I'm gonna be talking about is Old Navy Old Navy is definitely a tried and true for me. I have bought and worn and worked out in Old Navy activewear clothes for years and years and years, and they have never let me down. I have three pairs of their leggings, all in different colors, and Old Navy leggings are literally just the best. They come up very high-waisted, they do not ride down, they are all squat proof, which is amazing. They are really good, nice, thick quality leggings. They sit perfectly at the leg. They have pockets for your phones, which is perfect. They have a breathable mesh fabric going all up and down the leg. They are not see-through and you will not see your sweat no matter how badly you sweat in these leggings. I also have a few shirts from Old Navy Activewear. They're very comfortable to wear and to sweat in. You don't see your sweat in it either. They design the shirts so that they have a nice contour all around your body and just hug you perfectly perfectly without being too constricting they are breathable they definitely move around with you and move around very well on your body when you're working out and they're just overall great shirts to wear i literally don't have anything bad to say about old navy the quality is amazing and the price is even better these are some of the most affordable gym clothes that i have ever bought and for all of these reasons i'm going to be giving old navy a 10 out of 10. like i said i've been buying them for years and they are one of my very favorite active wear brands and that is it those are my thoughts on these five very popular active wear brands let me know which ones are your favorites which ones you've had issues with down below in the comments if you like my video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one bye guys